But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it, and you let it flow, then it's no problem, it becomes positively beautiful. Which is why, in poetry, the theme of the evanescence of the world is beautiful. Yo, what's up guys? Victor here with another Everything Technology video. As a content creator here on YouTube and a video producer outside of it, I really value a portable workstation. In 2018, the mid-2017 15-inch MacBook Pro went on sale on Black Friday for $1,700 on B&H. With free shipping and no taxes, your boy had to cop. Two years later, this is still my everyday work and school machine. <laughs> I mainly use my MacBook Pro for work, so I have a lot of creative-based softwares installed. My go-to video editor is Final Cut Pro. I use this to edit all my videos for my channel and for client-related work outside of YouTube. It's been extremely reliable these past couple of years. Since it's an Apple-based application, it's very optimized, which equals a speedy and efficient workflow, and I completely love the autosave feature, something Adobe can definitely improve on. Speaking of Adobe, I have Premiere installed. I honestly prefer it over Final Cut for color grading, so if I'm editing S-Log or HDR footage, I usually switch over to Adobe Premiere. Photoshop is what I use for thumbnails or if I need to clean up an image. Adobe Lightroom for picture edits and After Effects for a lot of client work such as promo videos or just any visual effects. My web browser of choice is Google Chrome simply because it syncs up with all my devices. Being a tech YouTuber I own and I'm constantly switching between multiple devices and it can be quite aggravating having to start fresh every single time, but having Google Chrome makes this one step easier. By downloading the Google Chrome application on whatever device or computer I'm using, all I have to do is log into my account and have access to all my saved passwords, bookmarks, and extensions. Since I'm always on the go, a VPN is a must for me, and my choice of VPN right now is Rita VPN. This prevents from emails, photos, social media passwords, online bank accounts, and other sensitive information from being hacked with strong encryption when you're connected to public Wi-Fi hotspots like in airports, cafes, or schools. It changes your IP address to bypass the geo restrictions so that you can unblock websites and defeat censorships make access to your favorite website, stream on those excellent platforms like Netflix and Hulu, and it's available from anywhere around the world. In addition to this, it can help you unblock websites in your network from around the globe. It provides unrestricted access to the web by allowing you to unblock websites. Rita VPN is an awesome VPN and application for an affordable price. It'll be the first link down in the description and a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Spotify is by far my favorite music streaming service. I've tried Apple Music, Google Play Music, and I've always found myself going back to Spotify. And I even think I tried Tidal for a little bit. I'm huge into music and I don't have a specific preference. I listen to anything from rap, R&B, pop, Afrobeats, Latin, and literally anything that sounds good. Y'all should go check out some of my playlists. It'd be linked down in the description. And if you have any music suggestions or playlists, drop it in the comment section. Put me on, I need some new music to listen to. Another application I really like, and I'd say it's a must have for Mac users, is Better Snap Tool. This allows you to easily manage your window positions and sizes by either dragging them to one of the corners or the top. If you're a new Mac user coming from a Windows computer, it can be extremely aggravating navigating, oh okay, that definitely rhymed, when having multiple windows open. Microsoft has done such a wonderful job at implementing this feature with Windows, but for some reason, Apple is still lacking in this. Luckily, there is this tool, so you should definitely go check it out. Spark Inbox is, is a mail client I've been using lately. Um, I really like how simple and just minimal it looks. It kind of reminds me of Google Inbox, especially on how it organizes your emails based off different sections. If you're looking for a mail app on your MacBook, definitely consider this one. It's really nice and clean. And you, it also pushes out notifications every time you receive an email, which is really nice. And overall, it just works. Cheat Sheet is another awesome application I have on my MacBook. If you like using shortcuts, you're going to love this. When this is installed on any application, if you hold the command key, it will bring up all the different shortcuts you can use in that particular application. In conclusion, that is really it for this video. I really like my MacBook Pro. I remember at one point before purchasing this, I was definitely a little hesitant because of that $1,700 price tag, and that is just a lot of money for a laptop. But sometimes in life, you have to take action in spite of how you feel, and that's what I did. Almost three years later, I have zero regrets and I would honestly do it again.